Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video will be a good old eight-hour wear test on the new Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation and the Easy Blur Primer. I miss doing one of these wear test videos for you guys. You guys can let me know if you remember the good old days. And yeah, I am excited about today's video. If you guys are interested in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. I really, really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so Huda sent over their Easy Blur foundation, and there is a chance that I might hate this because if you have followed me for a while, I love me a dewy finish hydrating glowy type of a finish so i'm not so sure if this foundation is going to be too matte for me i know this emphasize on the blurring finish so i want to find out for myself if it's going to be too matte for me if it's going to cling on dry patches or you know sometimes matte foundation can accentuate my fine line and that's something i don't want so there is a chance i might hate this they also sent over a primer a brush and a easy bake setting powder which i love this setting powder they're really really blurring works really well on uh, different kind of skin types so i really do enjoy this powder it is one of the best on the market in my opinion <laughs> let's find out and see how the blurring primer is actually doing anything for me okay we're gonna go in with the easy blur primer i'm just gonna do this side you guys can let me know if it actually is doing anything for me um i don't normally use a primer i don't really have oily skin or any like special concerns that i need to be using primer with i normally just go in with a hydrating moisturizer so that's my main concern just making sure that i am hydrated targeted areas extra hydration this is the side with the easy blur primer this is the side without what do we think i mean it definitely feels like it mattifies the concept is the same with a lot of the mattifying primer if it mattifies it reduces the shine on the pores so you don't really see it on camera but is it actually doing a good job you guys can let me know let me observe it up close yeah, it does seem a little bit more blurring, I would say. It does give you that illusion. Vanilla. Ooh, definitely too light. Cashew. Crimble it. Crimble it somehow. This is definitely the warmest, I would say. Yeah, maybe creme brulee, right? Okay, so some of the shades are definitely too light for me. I think the only shade I can make work is the shade creme brulee. I'm gonna do just a little bit. I don't wanna like overdo it. You guys know, like I'm not into super full, full, full coverage and I heard the coverage is kind of insane. So I'm gonna go in with the brush just to blend things out and see how I feel with this foundation and see if there's actually a difference and I'm just bringing the leftovers on the on the forehead I don't normally do a ton of foundation on the forehead so Okay. Not bad so far. Well, the coverage is pretty insane. If you do use a lot, it's definitely gonna cover. Yeah, I might put a little too much on this side. Yeah, this is definitely a little too much on this side for sure. Um, yeah, I think I need to go in with a sponge just to press everything out because it 
definitely way too much. Okay, I'm definitely pressing this into the skin. This is definitely too light for me but still, but I can definitely make this work. Okay, the side with the primer definitely is a little bit more matte. And I feel like this side, you can still see the glow coming through, right? This is definitely more matte. This is what the face is currently looking like application is done the side with the primer absolutely looked a little bit more matte and more blur i would feel but on this side without the primer it does look just more glowy more skin like but it's not to the skin like degree that i personally love like the skin like finish that i feel with the armani luminous silk or some other foundations, glowy foundations that I've tried. I just kind of feel like, like around some of my drier areas, it does gather and bunch up. I will zoom you guys in on the nose. Okay, I do feel like there's a potential for this to be cakey. If you do apply a lot more and using a brush, I do feel like the application can be streaky and cakey if you don't use a sponge. So I do like the sponge application just a little bit more with this foundation. And honestly, with matte foundations in general, I would say a sponge is a better application because I can see a little bit of the streaks still on this side of my face. So that's kind of where I'm at. And also the nose, I'll zoom you in. You see what I'm talking about when I'm saying like it kind of just sits kind of on the nose a little funky yeah but it happens with a lot of foundation though so i just want to point it out so far the forehead isn't doing too bad this is the forehead the midsection of the face is currently 5 30 come back with a full face and let you guys know how everything wears okay this is the finished makeup look today honestly i was gonna film some makeup tutorial i look but then i don't want to ruin the base because a lot of the shimmer will have some fallout so i'm just gonna do a really really simple makeup look and the time is 6 24 so we're about to go one hour in i can already see the side without okay the lines are gathering a little bit on my smile line right here this side is kind of slowly forming the smile line um i will zoom you guys in but so far everything seems to doing pretty well yeah let me know your thoughts if you do have this foundation comment down below let us know what's the tea do you like it do you not like it if you do have dry skin i would love for you to comment as well let us know if you love this foundation because i so far from what i'm seeing a lot of people do have oily skin seems to really really love this foundation but I can already tell that the, it is already gathering in the smile lines. That's normally a really bad sign for me. Yeah, first hour in only. You see what I'm talking about? This line here. This side seems to be a little better with the primer. But the side is definitely started. The nose is not doing great. The alarm is going off in my brain where I'm thinking I probably would never really reach for this one foundation ever. Maybe on a client I would, but on myself, I probably would not keep on using it just because, yeah, the smile line sitting is pretty normal for foundations, but for me, no, no, it's not something that I'm into. So yeah, that's kind of a check-in on the first hour. 
I'll see you guys maybe in a good two, three hours. I'm gonna do some workouts, eat some food, watch the industry. Is If anyone's watching the industry, comment down below. I am obsessed with Yasmin as a character. I'm fully invested in the series. Anyway, um, let me check back in with you guys in a little bit. You guys, it is currently 10. Oh, we have been having this makeup on for a good four and a half hours. And I just want to zoom you guys in on how the makeup is doing. Um, okay, so I think the forehead is doing okay. I definitely can see um, some gatherings on the lines, on the fine lines situation, just a little bit around here. Just a little bit not doing too too bad and the noses are definitely gone because i was blowing my nose tonight and i was wearing glasses so there are definitely some marks around the nose i would say it's like a good like 90 percent gone here and definitely you can see the redness peeking through and I had dinner, workout, around the mouth are like pretty much gone. But yeah, this is how the face is currently looking like after four hour, four and a half hours. The side with the primer, I do feel like there's more makeup left than the side without primer. I definitely can see like foundation breaks apart a little bit more on the side with the without a primer. That's just like a little bit something that I notice. Four and a half hours, not doing the best, but it's not doing terrible for four and a half hours. And I'll come back at the end of the night. I'm hoping to give it a couple more hours of wear if I can. And yeah, I'll be back and update you. I'm 37 and we are officially eight hours in and this is currently my face right now i will say like the center part of my face the foundation is completely gone there is some a little bit still on the chin um i don't have oily skin but definitely i can see oil peeking through you know the shiny parts of my face the forehead. Yeah, I mean, it were okay, like eight hours. I've seen worse for eight hours, but um, I also didn't really use any powder or setting spray. This might be like the most accurate, like how it wears on the skin. There's no powder, no setting spray to kind of elongate the longevity or manipulate you know the products it's just solely the product itself yeah after wearing it for like a good eight hours i can confidently say that this is just not 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 my foundation i don't love it i don't hate it so it's kind of like right in the middle i feel like you know you want me to be honest i kind of feel like this formula is a little bit similar to the nyx foundation I actually try it kind of feels a little similar to that that foundation it's it's a matte foundation as well I kind of feel like they kind of have a similar feel to them yeah this side with no primer definitely I feel like it definitely breaks apart a little bit more I can see the foundation kind of like floats on top of the skin whereas the foundation on this side with the primer stays put a little bit better if anything the primer definitely works I can see visibly like there's more foundation on the side where I use the primer on this side just the moisturizer it really didn't really help with the longevity or anything they're definitely like breaking apart a little bit more on the side i can see the difference so the primer definitely works in comparison i do enjoy this uh, if you're looking for a mattifying blurring primer i do think this is a good product as far as the foundation goes the shade is a little lighter than i would normally go for but i think with the bronzer it actually works uh, this is the shade Creme Belay 150G 
with golden undertone, I believe. Again, it didn't really wear phenomenally or beautifully throughout, but it's not terrible. It's just a okay foundation for me. I didn't really love the finish. If you know me, I love a glowy finish. I wouldn't say this is like a flat matte, but it definitely leaning more matte because on this side, when I didn't use a matte primer, it doesn't really look that matte. It still has that natural finish looking to it. Overall, I don't mind this foundation. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I probably honestly won't wear it again. It's just not in my preference. So yeah, if you do have dry skin and you are in your late 30s, I don't feel like you have to run out and get it. It really doesn't do the dry skin any benefit. Like it doesn't really do anything for me, just in a sense, you know, for my dry, mature, like what I'm looking for, it doesn't really fit into my daily but if you guys do have oily oily combo i feel like a lot of you guys will really enjoy this and if you already have tried it and love it comment down below let us know and yeah that is pretty much it for me today i really hope that you guys enjoy eight hour wear tests just like how i did it in the past i really enjoy doing these wear tests for you guys and i hope you guys find this video helpful yeah if you have not subscribed i really really love for you to subscribe join the fam follow me on instagram and tiktok love you guys i'll talk to you later bye